Okay, in today's video, we're going to be looking at setting up the Wi Fi dongle for your Grow Watt inverter. When you buy the Wi Fi dongle, you're going to get the dongle, you're going to get a manual on how to hook it up, but this manual only covers the hookup through an app on your smartphone. So I'm going to show you the laptop version. The smartphone way to hook it up is relatively the same, uh, just follow the manual. And you get your box, and with your box, uh, it's going to have the two codes that you need to set up this. If you do not have Wi-Fi and you don't want to hook it up for remote monitoring over the Wi-Fi network and you just want to do it remotely on your PC, it will come with the disc. And with the disc, you can just hook up a USB cable directly to your Grow Watt and then you can do local monitoring at that point. So we're going to hook up the Wi-Fi stick. So first thing you're going to want to do is hook up your battery to your inverter. Uh, make sure power is going through it and turn it on to the inverter. And then what you're going to want to do is plug this in. There's a port on the bottom that designates for Wi-Fi dongle. Uh, plug this into there. Once it's plugged in, you'll start to see it flashing a light. You're going to also want to put the screws in so that the device doesn't get pulled out. Once the light starts blinking a red, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to put this into its own hotspot mode. So to create its own hotspot, you need to use a small pin and insert it into the hole. Okay, now I can see that there's a solid blue light. And now you can see here that under the Wi-Fi, you can see that my serial number from the box shows up. You're going to want to connect to that network there. Okay, now we're connected. Uh, it says no internet. That's fine. So now what we're going to want to do is you're going to want to type in the IP address for the Wi-Fi stick. So I'm going to do that now. So you're going to have this come up here. Now your admin password is just one through eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And log in. Okay, so it's going to come to this screen first. This is going to be all your Wi-Fi settings. Before we change this, there's a couple other settings that we want to change. Um, first thing is going to be, you got to change your server to the US server. So that is dash US. Uh, what that's going to do is it's going to connect to the American server and not the Asian uh, servers because uh, if it doesn't connect to the US server, you in North America will not be able to connect to it. I don't know what it is for the UK if it's a difference, but you'll have to look into that. And another thing I'm going to change here is the interval time. Um, what this is, is basically that will send the signal out to the server and then you'll be able to retrieve it. So every five minutes by default, it'll do that. So if you want to increase your accuracy of what you can see of what your unit's doing, you can decrease this time so you'll have more of a picture of what's going on. So we're going to apply those settings. Okay, that's uh, been saved into the stick. So now we will go to our Wi-Fi settings. We will pick our Wi-Fi network put in our code. Okay, now once I hit apply, it's going to disconnect from the computer and then we will see if it worked. Okay, once you log in and set up all of your account information for your GrowWatt account, now we want to add a data logger. So we're going to go up here to data logger and then on your box is the uh, SIN number and numbers you need to enter as well as on the back of the unit itself. The numbers are displayed on there. So you just want to enter that information. So the SIN number is DDD. All right, once you uh, set it up, you can see here right now, this is my dashboard. So now we've set up the device. So you can see now on the screen that no power is coming in. I'm just going to connect it to the grid uh, just to show you the change on the dashboard here. Oh, now you can see there that it's importing and if I refresh the page, it's going up. And there you go, this is the dashboard. It's particularly cloudy out today, so I can't hook up any solar to show you the uh, solar input. But you can see there um, how everything works. Okay, so here's your dashboard. Um, if you scroll down, now these settings are particularly, you could screw up your system if you set something wrong. So this is more for the advanced users. Gives you a disclaimer, you could screw up your system. So this is going to give you all your settings. So you can change your settings remotely. So instead of going through your 
inverter settings, you can do it here remotely. There you go, the password is gonna be lowercase grow watt and then the year and then the month and the day. So now I've changed the settings to 60 amps in the charge controller remotely, or sorry, 40 amps, change it to 40 amps. So be very careful with these settings. And there you have it. Yeah, so the uh, input watts went up. Okay, so that's how you uh, connect to your grow watt through, uh, through the Wi-Fi stick. Uh, stay tuned for more videos.